Hi, this is Pam, Flower Patch Farmhouse, and today I'm going to show you the pumpkin, how I painted the pumpkin in my fall Scrabble tile tutorial. And here, I can make out, I have the pattern drawn on of the pumpkin, and I've double loaded my brush with um, two colors, a darker orange, a red orange, I would say, and um, an orange orange. And this one is actually Deco Art Americana colors of Georgia Clay and Tangelo Orange. And I've just double load my brush, fill it up, and then I'm going to go with the darker color, which is the Georgia Clay, along the outside of the ribs of the pumpkin. And then this one comes across here and it will be behind the stem because the stem, this pumpkin's kind of leaning forward and you just keep going along with the darker orange on the outside edge. You could actually just do this all with the tangelo orange and then come in later to shade these but I'm going to do it with the one stroke method where you double load the brush and then come in and also shadow some more later after it's dried and you'll see that but that one is kind of because of the heavy crackle medium on here it's getting a little difficult to fill that in or I should say more challenging get a smooth edge on it and keep going along each rib. You'll see that the darker color there is making a differentiation. Well this one, it just I wanted to fill in with the lighter orange there. And I keep going back to my palette and reloading. This one I need to fill in. Just keep going along. Each rib has a little bit of shadowing from the darker orange. And then in the center, I will just fill in with the lighter orange. Just go ahead and fill it in. Tangelo orange, I should say. Just fill it in until it's good and opaque. And if you need to, come back in along with some more of the Georgia Clay color. And it looks pretty well filled in. You could actually come down along the sides if you wish. And there is the pumpkin. Let's see a little one there with that one. We'll let it dry and then we'll come back in with some shadowing and highlighting. I'm just going to highlight a little bit. I added a bit of um, a very light yellow on there and I double loaded with a little bit of that and the tangelo orange. And I'm just going to kind of spark up the center part so it kind of pulls it forward in your vision once it's dry and that's kind of a highlight in that spot you just kind of work it however you like and that and if you want to add a touch of highlight there on those you can do that as well that spot needed some highlighting and there's the highlight for that I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do the stem. I double loaded some burnt umber and a little bit of that creamy yellow. And I'm just going to drag my brush up. I'm getting too much of the creamy yellow, but that's okay. 
Just drag it up there. Now you can make it a wide stem if you want. You can even add a little, sometimes the bottom kind of comes into these, down onto it like this. And then I'm going to make a little spot at the top so it makes it look like a cut end. And this brush might be a little bit too big for this part. I might need to add some texture in there. Clean out your brush and kind of work it in. If you don't like it, if it's too light, get some more of the dark. But I'm just kind of making it look like a stem. You know how they get the twisty part around it. And there you have your pumpkin stem. Now I will come back and shadow a bit. I'm going to add a few more shadows. This is completely optional because it looks like it has good dimension with the two different color oranges, but I'm filling my brush here with some floating medium and I'm going to take a corner and work some of the burnt umber into it, make it where it's not too heavy, not too dark. And then I'm just going to go along the edge here and add a bit of shadowing. And that gives it a little bit more dimension. And my orange isn't completely dry. Normally I would wait till it's completely dry really to do this. But it's working okay. So no big deal. So just add your shadow as you please. And it doesn't have to be completely up there. It can be, you know, a little bit here and then stroke a little bit there. And you can also, if you want to give it dimension, you can shadow along the outside. So it gives it depth. And so we're going to continue around. I got that a little wide, so I cleaned off my brush and started again. I wanted it to be narrow along there, not too heavy. And you just keep going along the edge and you'll see the shadowing up here. And that just makes it look three-dimensional on your surface, or a little more three-dimensional. Now I also had kind of added some shading to the bottom, like it's getting shadow, and I'm just Dragging my brush through that medium with the brown that's got mixed into it and dragging it from the bottom so it kind of anchors it. And there you have it. I see I left a little bit of that left undone. Touch it in there with orange. Okay, I'll come back with some white and I'll show you the bright highlights I did on my uh, Scrabble tile one. All right, I basically just wiped out my brush. I didn't really clean it, and here's some white. I'm just going to touch in it, kind of work it down, and then I just kind of touch in some spots. I think it needs some highlighting. And this is completely optional. You don't even have to do this at all. And sometimes you just want to highlight one side like the sun is hitting, striking right there. And there you have it. You may notice that this one spot up here does not have really a good clear demarcation. So I'm going to get some more of this and kind of come in here and give it some shadowing. You can even shadow a little bit underneath the stem there to set it in there good. And there you have an orange pumpkin. Well, when I looked at my little pumpkin from my pumpkin patch, I don't know if you can see that, let me see, get it. I realized my stems on my pumpkins were a little narrow. So I came in with my burnt umber and my brush, and I just filled in between the little strokes I had done. Let me see if that's focused for you. And the same way here, focus it again. 
and I just filled in almost like webbing and this one you can really see how I broadened the stem. A lot of pumpkins are cut off short so like mine here see the stem is really short but on my scrabble leaf or a scrabble tile I wanted it um, longer so I could attach leaves and so that's why I made it um, a bit longer and if you want any more painting tutorials please visit my website at flowerpatchfarmhouse.com I have an array uh, available for you to enjoy.